Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and we're back at the station well we got to keep Bob the Bricky busy so what we're going to be doing this week right we've still got a little bit of work left to do to the walls um, mainly adding the chimney breasts to the insides of the two outer walls so we shall look at doing that first before we start concentrating on the detail inside yeah so let's get stuck in meanwhile back at the bench uh, I've been working out um, the chimney breasts and also I've been dividing the walls into rooms and here we have the center line for the chimney breast and don't forget I'm allowing one mil for the card for the flooring um, so that the, uh, the floors can be pushed in one at a time um, as we go Notice I haven't put any supports in yet because I want to glue the chimney breasts to these walls so we have a design it's a fairly basic design um, width it is five millimeters deep 14 millimeters across and it's going to be 91 millimeters tall the actual breast chimney breast um, then we'll the add on the actual chimney and chimney supports which will go on top um, which is 2 mil card, 1 mil card um, with the, the chimney pots um, glued in ready um, as you see here I have going to wrap 20 mil brick paper all the way around but the last 1.5 mil is just going to be a sheet of paper wrapped around the top and all that's going to be painted in the same grey as the window lintels and sills so that's the plan um, I don't have to make the fireplaces because these were left over from the Saracen's Head pub when I made the fireplaces for the Saracen's Head I made four extras planning ahead <laughs> right so let's make the chimney breasts up moving on a bit I just thought I'd show you what I've done with the chimney breast so let me just flip this round and then you can see right so as per drawing I stuck the three pieces of card together to make that five mil um, I've stuck on the lower fireplace but I haven't put the uh, first floor fireplace in yet because there's a ceiling to go in so I'm going to work from the ground up as it were um, I've wrapped the top round in brick paper as you can see and a piece of paper 1.5mm all the way around which we'll paint a grey later on And this is how I did the wrap around. So we got our 20 mil piece of paper. I've marked up five millimeters, which is the drop there to the ceiling, as you can see. And basically put that there, which gives us a really good accurate um, placing for the cutout. Let me just cut this piece out. And then drop that down the back of the chimney. And now we can just mark out the folds as it comes around. Just by holding that card in place. Likewise, uh, like so. 
Do the same there and inside there as well. So this one we shall cut off. So although you've marked it, it's best to get the line square. So I just use my square to mark that line. Then we can cut that piece off. Then we can wrap it around at the chimney breast again. Put the folds in. Then we can put that fold in now, which is the final fold. And then just mark that with a pencil. Take it back off again. Use your square. Line it up with the line. With this one, take the pencil line right off because you want the card to meet up exactly rather than having a little bit of a overhang, which you would do if you'd leave the line on. And then just do a dry run to make sure it folds up neatly all the way around. And you should end up with a nice corner joint like that. Right, and then that's ready for gluing. And then you just glue your 1.5 piece of paper around the top. So now it gets a little bit tricky. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's the fact that A, the rooms are small, B, I've got to fit lighting into them, and C, I've got to hide the lighting. So each floor is going to have to be individually marked like this one. This is the ground floor for the left hand side. So I've already cut it out for the chimney, so that'll sit on there. And I've already marked it, so that's the front. And if you look at the underside, I've already marked it for the retaining wall, which goes there, which hides the cables. So that there would be the gents or the ladies, uh, de depending on what's what when we come to put the, hang the signs over the doors. But. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to work out each wall um, for where the LEDs get glued to, uh, etc. And paint each room and then glue one piece of card in at a time, do the LEDs, put the side wall on, then the front, and uh, leave the rooms empty until I decide to put the furniture in. So I'm going to take a little bit of uh, time and care thinking about this. Um, so hopefully it'll come together in the end. Okay we've moved on a little bit. Um, I fitted the LEDs to the ceiling of the building. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have to build this from the top down. Um, <laughs> it's, it's becoming a little bit tricky. Now, the cables have gone down that side. And you, you can't really see them because what I've done there, if I just remove the uh, first floor, I've hidden the cables behind a sheet of paper. For that floor. Obviously this floor it doesn't matter because there's another wall going in there so you won't necessarily see these. So that's what I've done there. So what I'll do now is is once the uh, first floors are done I can then paint 
the walls and you'll, you'll never know. It might just be a little bit of a hump in the wall where the uh, cables are, but uh, once it's painted, you'll never know. I have now put together the two outside walls on the right hand side, like so. And um, to set up this fireplace, I'm using the first floor floor as a guide to set the fireplace up, make sure it sits where it's supposed to sit. So this side is ready for painting. So what I'll do now is I'll paint these, this side and paint the other side on the main building, mainly the upper floor, and then we can start working on the ground floor. It's um, forever checking, making sure that it's going to go together. Um, it does at the moment because there's nothing in the middle of the building to hinder it going together. As you can see that's a nice snug fit there. I have now started to decorate the refreshments room. I've kept the wooden panelling theme but instead of making the panelling up I've just painted the lower half brown and the top off a light blue. So I'm keeping with the two-tone colours as it were. And here we have the other half of the same room. And I'm also checking to make sure that these colours line up um, when they're together. I did do a, a test run to make sure because we don't know steps in the paintwork as it were. <laughs> right. So that's that and then we started on the floors this is the refreshment rooms floor and it look, just looks like tiles or it could just look like vinyl tiles um, so all I've done there is scratched with a pen and covered it with a matte white paint and the station master's room is just going to be wood flooring so uh, I'll paint that in a in a brown and then slightly varnish it. So if we turn over these two floors we've got the ceilings for the ground floor and I've stuck on an LED uh, with some super glue and a piece of paper across the, core, um, the two diodes as it were ready to receive the cables. So that's what we're going to focus on next is to solder the cables onto these LEDs then we can fit the floors. I have left the super glue to go off overnight so it's been at least 24 hours um, before I'm going to attempt to solder the resistors onto these LED and others and cathodes. So the long one will be the the live so I'll put the resistor on that and the short one will be the return so that's what I'm going to do next I'll just solder on the live feed as it were bear in mind all this would be hidden inside the rooms So that's the return cable done. Um, it's a bit long that cable, it's about over a meter long. 
Um, I'd rather have the cables long than short. I'll just trim off the resistors ready to take the other cable. So once I've done all this and this, I'll then cover that up with a little bit of heat shrink on both of them. And then we can fit them into the building. So I'm just adding the heat shrink onto the live cable and covering up the resistor as well. So the LEDs I'm using are 3mm and these are the warm glow ones. Right, so that now is ready to go into the building. Well that's almost one room complete. Um, you can just make out where the cables come down behind the wallpaper. but. Visually it don't look too bad. And here's what it looks like on the ground floor. Bearing in mind there will be a wall going across there which will hide uh, these three sets of cables. And you won't even see these ends. So that pencil line there just happens to be where the card's going. So that's worked out quite well. Um, yeah, so not a bad effort this week. Um, as for the other side, well I've still got to put in the flooring and also paint the upper wall. But that will be for another time and another video. Right, I've placed the walls around the platforms, but uh, I've left the booking hall on the bench. Um, I don't want to handle it too much, just in case I accidentally pull on the cables and undo all that uh, hard work that I've done already. So, this week we managed to get the chimney breasts in place, and we've done a little bit of decorating. Fitted a few LEDs, so progress is progress. And... Um, yeah, it's coming along. Um, just before we go, um, most of you know that I went to Getz at the weekend and I bumped into quite a few YouTubers. Big Al over at Jack Dragon Junction, Susanna, Robert's Trains, Kevin at Peninsula Model Railway and loads of others. But most of all, I met up with a new, new YouTuber, um, Stephen is his name, and it's Catton Park Junction. I just thought I'd give you a shout out to uh, Stephen, Catton Park Junction. Yeah, he's, he's only been going for a few, few months, so yeah, give him a look. And uh, give him a thumbs up from me. And yeah. So it was, it was a good meet and uh, it was great seeing everybody. Peter Dixon's always a laugh. And, uh, well, Gary from Cheeky Tech as well. Great fun. Right, that's all from me. Till next time, enjoy your model railways. Bye for now. Bye.